CDRW is a digital optical disc storage format. A CDRW disc is a compact disc that can be written, read arbitrarily many times, erased and written again. The technology was introduced in 1997. CDRW discs require readers that have more sensitive laser optics than plain CDs. Consequently, CDRWs cannot be read in many CD readers built prior to the introduction of CDRW. CD-ROM drives that bear a multi-read certification claim compatibility. CDRW discs need to be blanked before reuse. Different blanking methods can be used, including full blanking in which the entire surface of the disc is cleared, and fast blanking in which only metadata areas are cleared, PMA, TOC and pre-gap, comprising a few percent of the disc. Fast blanking is much quicker, and is usually sufficient to allow rewriting the disc. Full blanking removes traces of the former data, often for confidentiality. It may be possible to recover data from full blanked CDRWs with speciality data recovery equipment. However, this is generally not used except by government agencies due to cost. CDRWs also have a shorter rewriting cycle's life compared to virtually all of the previously exposed type storage of media, something which however is less of a drawback considering that CDRWs are usually written and erased in their totality, and not with repeated small-scale changes, so normally where leveling is not an issue. Their ideal usage field is in the creation of test disks, temporary short or mid-term backups, and in general, where an intermediate solution between online and offline storage schemes is required. CDMO, prior to the introduction of the CDRW technology, a standard for magneto-optical recordable and erasable CDs called CDMO was introduced in 1990 and set in the Orange Book, Part 1, and was basically a CD with a magneto-optical recording layer. The CDMO standard also allowed for an optional non-erasable zone on the disk, which could be read by normal CD-ROM reader units. Data recording was achieved by heating the magneto-optical layer's material up to its curie point thus erasing all previous data and then using a magnetic field to write the new data, in a manner essentially identical to Sony's Minidisc and other magneto-optical formats. Reading of the discs relied on the Kerr effect. This was also the first major flaw of this format. It could be read in only special drives and was physically incompatible with non-magneto-optical enabled drives, in a much more radical way than the later CDRWs. The format was never released commercially, mostly because of its inherent incompatibility with standard CD reading units. A similar situation was also present for early CDR media, which suffered from either physical or logical incompatibilities. Since the CDMO was otherwise physically identical to normal CDs, it still adopted their spiral groove recording scheme, which would have rendered it hard to use as a removable medium for repeated, small-scale deletions and recordings. There were however some magneto-optical drives and media with the same form factor that don't have this limitation. Unlike modern CDRWs, CDMO allowed for hybrid discs containing both an unmodifiable, pressed section, readable and standard drives and a writable MO section. This early introduction along with the lack of standards for disk recording software, file systems and formats, physical incompatibility as well as the introduction of the more economical CDR disks essentially caused the format to be abandoned before commercialization, and the whole idea of a rewritable CD medium to be almost forgotten until modern phase change CDRWs appeared. Other kinds of magneto-optical media and bound by the limitations of the typical CD-ROM file systems, took the place intended for CD-MO. Mechanism of action, rewritable media can, with suitable optical drive according to some manufacturers, be rewritten up to 100,000 times. The CDRW technology is based on the phase change technology, so the degree of reflection reached is only 15 a euro 25% compared to the 40 euro 70% reflection from CDR discs. The properties of the medium and the write and erase procedure is defined in the Orange Book Part 3. To keep rotational speed precise any track have a slight superimposed sinusoidal excursion of 0.3 a micrometer at a frequency of 22.05 kHz. 
in addition in 1 kHz frequency modulation is applied to provide the recorder with an absolute time reference. The grooves have a width of 0.6 a micrometer and pitch of 1.6 a micrometer. The media for CDRW has basically the same layers as CDR media. The reflective layer is, however, a silver indium antimony tellurium alloy, which has in its original state, a polycrystalline structure and reflective properties. When writing the laser beam uses its maximum power to heat the material to 500 a euro 700 a degree Celsius. This causes liquefaction of the material. In this state, the alloy loses its polycrystalline structure, assumes an amorphous state and lose its reflectivity. The lost reflectivity serves the same function as bumps on the manufactured CDs and the opaque spots on a CD are which will be read as a zero. The polycrystalline state of the disk forms the trenches, which is read as one. The scanning signal when reading is created by strong or weak reflection of the laser beam. To erase the disk, the right beam heats the amorphous regions with low power to about 200 a degree Celsius. The alloy is not melted, but returns to the polycrystalline state and is thus again reflective. Speed specifications. Like CDR, CDRW have hard-coded speed specifications which limit the allowable recording speeds to certain fairly restrictive ranges but unlike the former they also have a minimum writing speed under which the disks cannot be reliably recorded, something dictated by the phase change materials heating and cooling time constants, and the required laser energy levels. Since the CDRW disks need to be blanked either entirely or on the fly before recording actual data, writing too slowly or with too low energy on a high-speed unblanked disk will cause the phase change layer to cool off before blanking has been achieved preventing the actual data from being reliably written. Similarly, using inappropriately high amounts of laser energy will cause the material to get overheated and become insensitive to the actual data, a situation which is typical of slower disks used in a higher powered faster specification drive. For these reasons, in general older CDRW drives lacking appropriate firmware and hardware cannot handle newer, high-speed CDRW disks while newer drives can generally record to older CDRW disks, provided their firmware can set the correct speed, delay and power settings for the task. The actual reading speed of CDRW disks, however, is not directly correlated or bound to its speed specification, but depends first and foremost on the reading drive's capabilities, as with CDR disks. Notes. References. This article is based on material taken from the Free Online Dictionary of Computing prior to November 1, 2008 and incorporated under the relicensing terms of the GFDL, version 1.3 or later. External links, ECMA 395, Recordable Compact Disk System CDRW Ultra Speed, the CDRFAQ, HTTP, www.osta.org pdf cdr cdrw pdf understanding cdr and cdrw